115, lost one. That was a bad decision. He has had eight knockouts. He is a good puncher, but his opponent is one of the best fighters around. Inch for inch and pound for pound. Salvador Sanchez. Well, for round one, let's pick up with the action. Now, you must remember this about Sanchez in the blue trunks. He is a superb counter puncher and has the quickness of hands to have a very effective right lead, which he often uses. Right there, he came with a left. Wild left by Laporte that missed. Watch the edge. about a hundred yards from the Mexican border, if that. Sanchez, excellent upper body strength. Was well, strongly built in that regard. You saw how quick Sanchez's hands are. But Laporte, this is second round action. A tremendous fighter from Guyana. Forty, using the right knee. Quick combination by Sanchez. That's why he's able to risk the right lead and use it so effectively. trying to carry the battle. And Sanchez against the ropes. Laporte scoring there. Laporte getting the jab in. Again the jab. featherweight title belt. So far, the youngster on the right. Juan Laporte is doing surprisingly well. But we've grown accustomed to Sanchez's pace. He always starts slowly. Good right gotten in there by Laporte. In his corner, Carlos Espada, Howie Albert, whom I've already talked about, and as cut man, Jackie McCoy, one of the best. weakness in Sanchez, it would seem to be his growing disdain for defense. Being down in round four now, and Laporte is putting on a good show. See that right get in there? lead for the first time by Sanchez. In this round, Sanchez appears, oh, a good right by Laporte. Sanchez is working more methodical, boxing better than he has. It's the ropes of Sanchez by Laporte, not in evidence in the last two rounds. Sanchez using the head better in this round. Slipping blows, Duckman, a good right by Sanchez. Certainly Sanchez dominated in that exchange. Oh, Sanchez is now beginning to hurt him. It is happening quickly, but you can see Sanchez dominating this fight now. Yes, we are live from El Paso, Texas. Oh, there's that right lead that hurt Laporte. Laporte's left eye appears to be swollen. 
and Swan shutting quickly. This is where Sanchez can kill you when he starts to go to the belly. Oh, you saw that right. He will take that left eye apart if he can. It's an ugly, brutal business, but it's the way it is. Sanchez working the jab, following with a good right. Did he work now with that Sanchez left? The fight in a pattern. There's that right that's so punishing. Problem will be now the ability to execute. Sanchez is looking forward to a showdown fight against Wilfredo Gomez. And what a battle that would be. Three judges, a Mexican. That's what you call counter punching. You saw Laporte miss, and quickly Sanchez was in there. That right scored well by Sanchez. trying to get a right in quickly. And you saw Sanchez now making his fight. Laporte trying an uppercut, which Howie Albert told him that Sanchez was vulnerable to. You saw Sanchez land effectively. Laporte half slipped there, but he was hurt. He was not staggered, but he was hurt. Laporte connected and hurt Sanchez. Sanchez dominating. Featherweight crown at stake, WBC version. Quick left by Laporte. It was his best combination, in fact. So far, it's a much improved round for Laporte. So far. Espada in Laporte's corner, imploring him to get off those ropes. Now he's trying to fight his way off them. And he came up with the beauty of an uppercut that stung Sanchez. A beauty. Sanchez is like granite. And back against the ropes with 30 seconds left in the round. And Sanchez doing it his way. Trying to go to that uppercut. Laporte does. We're going to stay between rounds and look at that uppercut. Good right by Laporte, but quickly back Sanchez in the end of the round. Interesting round. Now watch for the uppercut now. There it was, and you saw that head of Sanchez's go up. Good left and right by Laporte. Second Sanchez against the ropes, but he quickly spun off. We're into the final 30 seconds, as you can see.
that is a hurt fighter as we come to the end of round 11. Below the eyebrow, the right eye, a good left by Laforte. Missed with the left uppercut, missed with the right. Laporte did. And ever since, oh, that right lead, that John Laporte. The kid was a hurt fighter as the last round ended. I thought he might be ready to go. Sanchez just keeps working him over. Now the right gets through with increasing frequency. Sanchez is right. Left set it up there. See the blood from the corner of that right eye now, Laporte's eye. Sanchez just in total charge now. Jackie McCoy go to work on him. It is, that's it. It had to end. Davy Pearl did the right thing. Wait a minute. Meanwhile, Laporte with a quick right. Looking for the opportunity. Right there, right and then the left. Minute of round 13 and Laporte throwing punches. He was hurt there as he was staggered back into the ropes. The effectiveness of Sanchez's blows far greater at this point than Laporte's. Working down to the belly again. Now he's trying to put him away and he is not able to do it. The gutsy kid. Not once, as he said, no muss, no muss. The way he keeps attempting to fight back, the kind of beating he's been getting could hurt his entire future. He's only 21, and he's proved himself to be a much better fighter than most people thought he was. Jorge drawing upon inner resources to manifest movement, but he got caught there in ring center, still fighting back as you see. There's that right. The whole flow of this fight, the way Sanchez wanted to fight the fight, began in the fifth round. Those eyes now so terribly vulnerable. Look at the courage of Juan Laporte. He has had only 16 fights. Well, I hope that he has not been too damaged by this battle today because he should be a contender for a number of years to come. And who knows, with some luck, maybe even a champion. But this kind of thing, it'll be a lesson for him, I'm sure, but how much will it take out of him? Still throwing punches, still trying to fight back. So, it comes to an end. Judge A.D. Byron scores it 147-140. Judge Vince Delgado sees it 146-139. And Judge Abraham Chavarria sees
She's at 148, 142. To the winner, unanimous decision and skill. Well, of course, if you watch this fight, you couldn't have been surprised. It was an easy decision by one of the classiest fighters, inch for inch and pound for pound in the world today. He fought a gallant kid, a kid who deserves a lot of credit, Juan Laporte, but the kid was simply outplayed.